Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about what is ubiquitous language in domain driven design. In this video let's see the basics of domain driven design, ubiquitous language and some code example. So first of all what is domain driven design? Actually it's a huge topic. So domain driven design it helps me to map the business domain into software artifacts. So as a developer we are involved in building different software products in different domains. In order to understand different domains and, and convert them into software architects or software products this domain driven design is very helpful. The domain driven design helps me to design a software product with good structure. Domain driven design it helps me to understand the complexity in the business domain. When I say business domain please understand it might be an e-commerce website or travel website or healthcare or manufacturing website. So these are the different types of business domain. There are complexity in this business. So when we build a software product in this business domain we have to understand the complexity and the normal terms used in these different businesses. It's a set of principles and practices which helps the software developers to create a better software. So what is a ubiquitous language? It's a model that acts as a universal language to help the communication between developers and domain experts. So mostly the product owners or business analysts will interact with the domain experts to understand the domain well and they will also understand the business requirements, what is the challenge they want to face and what is the software product they want to build and then explain to the software developers. So during the software development process, we need a unique language so that we can better understand the customer's need and then provide an appropriate solution. So this is where the ubiquitous language helps us. So why do we need this ubiquitous language? We might be building the software in travel industry, healthcare, sports or e-commerce business domain. So while building different products for different business domain, it helps to define the model for us. That's where we need a ubiquitous language. The ubiquitous language helps us to have initial communication with the business experts to understand the business domain so that we can refer them throughout the software development life cycle. So you can see here some examples shopping cart, warehouse, delivery, payment. So these are some examples for ubiquitous language so that both the domain experts and the software team can understand and relate and connect with them. Let's see some of the characteristics of ubiquitous language. It's structured around the domain model. It unites the people of the project team because we are going to use the same term across the team members and it helps to eliminate confusion from domain experts and it evolves over time because it is not defined entirely in a single meeting because it takes time to understand these terms. So the next question is like how do I develop this ubiquitous language? So usually you can go for an initial session with the business experts and then use a drawing board or whiteboard and start discussing about the use cases and then you will start discovering the ubiquitous language or domain related terms. Please remember it takes time to develop this ubiquitous language for a software product. So initially have some sessions with the domain experts to understand and don't worry about if something is not clear. During the session ask more questions to understand the domain and clear all your doubts about the business terms. And I would like to say that I am working currently in the 8th domain and it's really a great learning experience. And as a team you can also have an event storming workshop where you will try to understand the domain very well by asking questions to the domain experts so that you can gather the ideas and the business requirements from the domain experts. Let's see some code examples. I would like to show you how and you can see the business terms used in the code. For example, payment, reference ID, even publisher, money, quantity, card controller, card item, product ID, title, order item, product ID, and then in stock, order ID, product ID. So this is how the ubiquitous language is helping me convert the business domain model into the software product. Hi friends, I talked about the basics of ubiquitous language, what it is and I gave a code example. Hope this is helpful information for you. All the best for your career. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.